frosty, frosty start to the day. It's about minus seven. I'm just checking up on the animals and I wanted to give you an update on where we are with planning. We haven't been filming lots and lots of stuff because filming has to take a bit of a backseat when we've got meetings with architects and planners and consultants and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, where we are now is we are at the end of our full application, which is our fifth planning application in two years for pretty much the same building. Every time incrementally we are trying to work with the council, make amendments and make sure that our design fits what they are happy with. Unfortunately, not happy with much and uh, where it should really be a fairly straightforward thing, uh, it tends to vary massively from council to council and that frustration is only fueled further by watching other people with their builds very very similar builds which they've used the same national guidance same national policy and being able to crack on and and some of the people we were looking at right at the beginning of this process are now on second fix in serious so there you go anyway where we are at now is our long-term goal was always to secure that class Q, a bit like securing permitted development for an extension and then getting a full application and saying, we, we're, without your blessing, we're able to do this. Or in our case, we've said, you, you've given the go ahead for this design. We would like to do this ever so slightly differently for the following reasons with the obvious fallback that they've already granted us. So in our situation, what they granted us was not what we wanted to build, but it was a principle that basically said, yes, you can have a house, in our case, two houses within that barn. Uh, but as part of that, we would have to keep almost 100% of our external cladding, asbestos roof, all that stuff. And I know I've been in, onto that before. So you kind of know where we are at with that. However, as part of our full application, which is what they asked us to do right at the beginning, they said, put this in as a full application. There's far more room for discussion and all this sort of stuff. Well, we did that after we got our class queue. And at that point, we were very optimistic that they would actually want to communicate and there would be a back and forth type of thing. And we were five weeks into our full application. Still heard very, very little. Uh, when we found out that our council has now got this new guidance for Oxfordshire, Gloucestershire, Cotswolds, which basically means if, if your planning officer uh, is not really on board with your design, he or she don't have to communicate with you at all. There is a no negotiation guidance, which is basically the complete opposite of what they said to us. So now, since January, how convenient there's uh there's every chance that they will just refuse you on the last day of your planning application without saying a word to you now the reasoning for that is rather peculiar it's to save resources within the council as far as i can see they're not gonna save resources if people are then gonna have to reapp reapply or appeal that's gonna use loads of resources so anyway that's not the uh, point of it the point is our consultant which uh, is our second consultant and of course has not been a, a cheap exercise. Uh, he has pressed and pressed in the last week to get some sort of dialogue with the council and he has succeeded. So it doesn't look like, for now at least, that they're gonna be um, adopting this new guidance and it looks like we've got a conversation. However, they have come back to us and said that our our conversion tantamounts to a new build and basically because we want to replace that asbestos roof and some of the cladding on the outside that is no longer a conversion and it's a new build uh, which is all the sort of language you would expect with the class Q um, where you're meant to try and retain everything but again our local authority their opinion is that if it's a barn conversion, it should be retaining ne nearly everything externally. So as I move these sheep in, I'll explain where we're at now. 
So they have given us an extension or two lots of extension that hopefully means now we can go in and change everything back to basically a class queue on the outside and convince them that we will now go on into the sun we will now uh, retain all of that external cladding not the roof we're going to put our foot down there sense understandably and hopefully uh, get some sort of dialogue where they see that we're happy to change for them for us that's a bit of frustration, but also knowing that the alternative is that terrible design with the asbestos roof, we're happy to compromise and concede to all these things, really. We had a balcony on the front, which we knew was pushing it, but because of a full app, you can do a bit more, so we thought. So we did start in an optimistic point, and we're now reining that back in, but it does seem to me extraordinary that they're still in a full application insisting we retain all the old softwood boards on the side and all that old galvanized corrugated cladding on the ends but if that's what it's going to take that's what we're going to do so our architect today is amending those plans and the silver lining with all this is that there are a lot of other changes on our full application which they haven't even mentioned we had to pay over three thousand pounds to a conservation a consultant to write a report on our uh, heritage buildings around the area and the impact our development would have on that. All that money, not even a single comment. So, blessing in disguise, but you know, that's one difference because uh, we've always had comments before on pre previous applications. Nothing from Ecology, Newt Lady, Batman, um, just nothing. And the other changes we've made on this full application are things like uh, extending the red line, the residential curtilage, to include where the cabin is now, that yard, of the silage clamps, and our intention is to make a walled garden there. And fortunately, they seem to think that that's good use of that space. It's also going to be an increase in net biodiversity because we're taking, turning concrete back to green space. So that's good. There's greenhouses in there. Not mentioned that at all. Uh, and I, I, a number of other things. We're also only going for one dwelling now rather than one large, one small. Um, so hopefully they're not just going to iron out these details and then raise a load of other issues. That would be, I wouldn't put it past them, but that would be very unprofessional. Uh, so fingers crossed. If we can keep this dialogue and we can keep this last week got one week left if we can keep that going there's a chance we get it over the line but it's not our consultant chris he doesn't think that this well he knows that this is not a situation where we can submit a plan and they say well we'd prefer if you also did this and then we go away get another plan made up this really is our one chance to submit a plan we don't have the money the time the patience to do another application in any way. So we've really got to rein it in, make those compromises and understand that maybe in 10 years time, we could reclad the sides or, or replace some boards or whatever it might be. So this is it. Uh, we're going to make the amendments today. It's going to go in on Monday. That gives him about a week to chew over it, go to his verification or uh, panel who re do the recommendations. Well, our planning officer will make the recommendation. He's kind of on the fence, but he's rather junior. So everything goes down to his line manager or the head of planning. And he's the guy who's not a fan of farm conversions. Yay. Anyway, there, that's where we're at. Rather long-winded update, I know. But hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have some news. If not, the following video. And we've got to a point with our architect now where we've rejig the design to re basically be a class Q on the outside yeah. apart from the fact that we're going to we're keeping on pushing to change the asbestos roof quite rightly and we want to face the concrete and red brick but apart from that the corrugated cladding the wooden boarding all that will have to retain and we just heard back about five minutes ago and we've won over 
half of the, what not not the half of it but we've won they don't seem to have a problem with anything uh he seems happy but his boss he's worried that his boss is going to have a problem still with the roof yeah um being changed even though we we're trying to push that realistically we could have done that under repairs it's had 50 years lifespan already so it's at the edge of its it wouldn't and make we could, sense we could to say keep health it. and safety wise we need to replace it because yeah. of the asbestos but i guess then they would and you know. we have made a lot of cases our consultants made a lot of argument for the fact that in in doing so switching to an insulated system as well it's far more efficient so from a sustainability policy you know with there's points to win there but it's a question of like so we're waiting to hear back so he's going to go to his boss and have a chat and then thankfully he's also going to come back again and hopefully give us a bit of time to go either way like but he's writing his report today which it sounded like from what he said to our consultant he's going to recommend it for approval but all that is is his recommendation so then that has to go to his boss who really doesn't want to open up our, our consultant chris said that they're worried that if they allow us to change an asbestos roof to a steel you know profile roof then it could open up a can it of worms set a precedent for other ones you've got some Oh, my, oh, sorry i'm saving it for later why should that be an issue Changing well because it? it means that that something that it, they could it, it might hold have... back on then people can use us as a president yeah Which it is, might open it, up more see. barns to conversion but so, i don't know why that's so stressful. let's get back to hanging doors we haven't finished this building yet it just makes you not be able to do anything because you're like frozen thinking about it i know Uh, yeah. I mean, could we keep the roof? Like, I, I know, like, it'd be cheaper and we could just, like, box it out and, you know, and we have, have to we pay have to, people more to cut into it. Our fallback, yeah. But there so, are holes already, though, where the windows are. There are, yeah. Our, so our fallback, we, we which is our... Well, yeah, because the sizes will be different. Our Class Q, which is approved retains the asbestos roof because that's the only way that they would approve it is to keep the asbestos and at the end of the day if we don't get this full app there's a good chance we'll have to do that class cube because we have to have a house here and we could still make it amazing on the inside and redo the walls on the outside you know redecorate but we would have to look into an encapsulation of the asbestos roof and it, it it's just far from ideal and it is the worst worst case fallback Anyway, there's your update. Stay tuned. <laughs>